ask, like, what's with the hoop? And I'm just like, I'll show you. Technically, I guess I started hooping when I was a little kid, you know, but um, my friend last year at a party, she, she got her hula hoop out and she's like, oh, I'm going to hoop. And like before I could even let her hoop, I was like, I want to do it, you know. <laughs> and so I grab the hoop and I just start hula hooping regular and I think I'm like so cool because I'm going for like 10 minutes, you know. And then she's like, that's, that's really good, you know, can I try? And I was like, yeah, you know, go ahead, see what you can do. And then she starts busting out all these moves and I just, you know, my mouth dropped. And I was just like, oh my god, I want to learn how to do that. Even my neighbors last year knew me as a hula hoop girl as soon as I moved in. Like, they saw me hula hooping. But yeah, so I get that kind of reaction from people a lot. They just stare at me. Some people are, like, don't like it. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, they, they don't... Either they don't like it or they don't know how to react because then they just kind of give me like dirty looks. The second I look at them and like smile, you know, they like look away. Um, there's, there's like a big underground thing with hula hooping at music festivals and um, just in a lot of different places actually. Um, a lot of people in DeKalb, I've seen it recently that a lot of people have been getting into hooping. It's been making me really happy. Um, go to the house on Monday nights for open mic night and the, we call ourselves the hoop troop. <laughs> Hoop Troop will be there hooping, so. <laughs> I sell them as well. <laughs> you can see here, it looks like a medium sized hoop. Um, this is our thickest hoops. This one. I think this one has sand in it, actually. Yeah, this one has sand in it. Um, just a little bit, though. This one is my personal one, and it has water in it. Um, just kind of helps, like, helps it go faster. I totally think feel like it's an art form too. I definitely agree. Cause I do it to music a lot. I like doing like I feel like it's my own type of interpretive dance, I suppose. Um, okay, so first time I lit it on fire, my friend brought it over, and um, it was nerve wracking at first. I was nervous because I mean it's like four balls of fire around you, surrounding you. So I mean, how you have to hold it is um, when you hold it. There's prongs coming out from uh, out of here there's usually anywhere from like three to six and then at the end they have a um, little fire ploy which is just um, it's just a wick which is folded up over and over and over again and then they light it on fire it's really exhilarating and that also is definitely an art form because it's beautiful to watch especially when done to music so it's it's definitely a lot of fun I love it mm -hmm. 